Welcome back to Fast Food Face Off. Today, we're gonna do some fall inspired flavors from the Cheesecake Factory. Let's crush some calories. Fast food, face -off, fast food. Welcome back, fast food fans. Today on Fast Food Face Off, we're going to be covering four fall inspired cheesecake flavors from the Cheesecake Factory. We have pumpkin pecan, pumpkin, caramel turtle, and then caramel apple. Two of these are on their limited seasonal fall menu, and then two of these are on their regular menu. Normally, after this, we would introduce the history and fact segment for this company, but I've already covered a cheesecake episode from the Cheesecake Factory, so somewhere up here in the description, we'll have a link to that segment so that you guys can kind of check that out. I'm really hungry and I'm looking forward to this. Let's get into it. First up, we're going to start with the caramel apple cheesecake. I'm going to work my way back to the kind of fall seasonal menu. But I just wanted to try this because one, I'm a big fan of caramel and I'm a big fan of apple. So let's see how this tastes. So right away, you get the apple. It's prominent in there. It's not overshadowed by you know the, uh, the richness of the cheesecake. And then the caramel that they have on there is fantastic. It's rich and it's like a real creamy caramel, almost like a dulce de leche. It's a real nice complement. The little bit of salt balance that cuts through it, it's, it's a really nice complete bite. You guys get a look at it. So something else to note as I'm getting through this, Cheesecake Factory added what looks like caramel kind of pearls on there, which is nice. It adds a little bit of texture, but you're actually getting a lot of the texture from these pieces of what looks like almost pie pieces, kind of creates a, like a Dutch apple pie effect, which is really appreciated for this because if not, it would just be a lot of creamy texture, but there's chunks of apple in there. There's nice pieces of this kind of pie streusel. It's just a really, really well-balanced cheesecake. There's not too much that I think I would add or take away from this to make it any better or worse. It's, it's really nice. If I am being a little nitpicky, giving some sort of a critique, I do wish that there was something to kind of punch up the apple a touch. A lot of times bakers will use some sort of a citrus to kind of punch up apples, usually like a, a lemon juice or a lemon zest, and it, and it works really nice. It complements like cinnamon and, and apple and fall flavors. Other than that, still a really, really nice bite. Like I said in my last cheesecake video, it's always appreciated that uh, Cheesecake Factory adds a dollop of whipped cream and it really complements this one in the apple department because, you know, I think when I think apple pies, I think kind of a la mode or dollop of whipped cream or a dollop of vanilla ice cream. So I'm kind of getting that vibe with this cheesecake. We have the caramel turtle cheesecake. If you're not familiar with what a turtle is or turtle flavors as far as the dessert is concerned, it's caramel, chocolate, and then it's usually some sort of a nut, uh, pecans primarily. Yeah, it looks like a really rich cheesecake. I mean, you have this giant swirl and dollop of uh, kind of like a chocolate ganache on top. I imagine that this is going to be like a hefty cheesecake. I'm curious to see what maybe they did to kind of cut through some of that richness. Let's try it. So really nice first bite. I'm a sucker for turtle flavors, mainly because I like chocolate and caramel together. I think it's a really nice classic combination. The nuts, there's a good amount of them in there, so they're not lost kind of throughout the rest of the cheesecake. And then the chocolate that they use is a really nice quality chocolate. It's uh, almost reminiscent of like Ghirardelli. It's it's rich, it's very chocolatey. It's not like a weak milk chocolate. I, I might be dark chocolate or or almost like a fudge. It's kind of that richness. There's a little bit of lack of, on the initial impression, maybe a balance. I think a little bit of salt might have kind of done this a little bit more justice, either in the caramel or in the chocolate. But really nice first bite.
another thing to note too with this is that there's kind of like a bottom layer of fudge to complement this thick you know swirl that you're getting on top so you're not just kind of getting an initial bite of fudge or, or you know chocolate and then the rest of it kind of being caramel it's it's a pretty well balanced bite even the crust on the bottom you guys can't really see it it's a like a chocolate crust and it's really nice usually when cheesecake companies do like a chocolate style inspired crust sometimes it doesn't make for the most appetizing crust it kind of becomes a little bit more crumbly because of the nature of cocoa cheesecake factory did a really nice job with this you guys might be wondering why is it that i kind of chose these two cheesecakes to add on to their fall seasonal menu and in my opinion obviously pumpkin pumpkin pecan those scream fall they scream thanksgiving that's kind of a no-brainer but I also wanted to do other flavors, in my opinion, on their menu that kind of fit within that fall spectrum. So to me, when I think fall, caramel apple is definitely a fall flavor. And then when I think of turtles, I kind of tend to think of them more as like a treat or a dessert that gets pushed a little bit more around the fall season. I'm always just a sucker for chocolate, so anytime you can kind of squeeze it in there, I'm always for it. They leaned a little heavy into the chocolate portion of this for my liking. I do think that sometimes Cheesecake Factory is a bit stingy with what they would consider mix-ins. I think that for my mileage, I would have liked a little bit more of the pecans in there. I think it would have done a lot for the structure of the bite. But again, that's just me being particular. I think if you're a, a big chocolate caramel fan, then this is gonna speak to you, but still a really good cheesecake. So next up, we have just the traditional pumpkin cheesecake. This is arguably one of my favorite desserts, period. I'm a huge pumpkin pie fan, and most people, me included, are big cheesecake fans. So it's a no-brainer that pumpkin cheesecake is just an amazing dessert. Definitely for people during the fall season, this is a, a, a go-to for, for many people. So let's see how this stacks up. It's a really, really good pumpkin cheesecake. I'm a little biased because I'm definitely team pumpkin cheesecake as far as like, this is a go-to dessert for me around this season. But the fact that they were able to blend like the idea of pumpkin and cheesecake so well, I've had a lot of pumpkin cheesecakes and they tend to be one direction or the other. You'll get one that is primarily a cheesecake that has some kind of, you know, autumn fall spices in it and it doesn't feel like there's a pumpkin, you know, pie element. And then you have some other pumpkin pie style cheesecakes that are way way too spice forward and you're not getting enough of maybe the whipped airy kind of cream cheesy texture from them. This is a beautiful balance between the two. This is a, this is an amazing cheesecake. The only thing that I would say is missing maybe a bit from this cheesecake, if I'm being nitpicky, if I'm trying to find something to critique, is that while the texture of the cheesecake almost gives off like a, a whipped kind of cream cheese vibe, just a really nice pumpkin, subtle spice flavor, there really isn't enough in the texture department for this for me to give it, you know, A1 ratings across the board. The crust is nice. There is a small amount of texture there, but most of the crusts that you get from Cheesecake Factory are pretty much standard the same. They're good, they're not great. There isn't a lot of bite to them and, and structure and texture. I do wish that they would have maybe put something in here to give it some kind of balance of texture to, you know, overly soft cream cheese-like uh, vibes from, you know, a pumpkin cheesecake. They do kind of murder this thing out with whipped cream. There's the whipped cream that you're kind of getting on top and then they serve it with a side of whipped cream, which when I think of pumpkin pie, I definitely think of like break out the Cool Whip and, you know, put a good amount of it on there. You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. It's nice, maybe a little overdone. Again, like I said, it's just a lot of soft texture. The pecan pumpkin pie should be interesting. 
as far as the difference between this and that, if they nailed the same kind of structure and flavor components here, and then really just kind of added like the pecan pie bottom element, I think that that's going to be a, a really nice cheesecake. So I'm curious to see how that stacks up with their other fall offering. I don't know why they didn't implement, which obviously is something that they have, the kind of crumbly pie pieces or or uh, streusel pieces that they have for the caramel apple pie. I think that had they thrown that on top of this, it would have leaned more into the pumpkin pie, like kind of pie crust pieces, and it would have made a nice textural difference between all of the smooth, creamy textures that you're getting here. Again, being nitpicky, but I think that that would have been a nice addition to this. Last but certainly not least is the pumpkin pecan cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. This is also a part of the seasonal fall menu, the limited release stuff that they're putting out. I'm curious to see how this stacks up against the just plain pumpkin cheesecake. First bite. So they definitely nailed leaning into it being a pumpkin pecan pie kind of cheesecake. The whole bottom section of it, or the whole bottom half, is basically a pecan pie. Like it's a pecan pie layer. The top has some caramel and some pecans, and then you have pumpkin pie base layer that you got from just the pumpkin cheesecake. I do think that this is a more complete bite on the first bite. I'm liking the added texture of the nuts. The cheesecake layer seems a little denser here than it did in the pumpkin cheesecake that could be just because I had it sitting in the refrigerator for a touch to make sure that you know it was okay but this is a really nice bite I do like the texture of this more than I like the texture of just the plain pumpkin cheesecake the caramel the pumpkin pie cheesecake layer the pecan pie layer it just is a lot of sweet layered on top of sweet. The only thing I wish that they would have done with this is add a little something to cut through all of that rich sweetness that you get from something like a dessert inspired cheesecake. I do think for the average person, this is definitely going to be a bit much in the richness and the decadence department. It's easier to eat this with your eyes than it is to eat this with your mouth. I think a lot of people would be better off maybe splitting this with somebody. I do think that this is going to be a bit much in the dessert department, especially after any kind of a meal from Cheesecake Factory. I said it in the last video, I would definitely bring your comfy pants and maybe a antacid or two. Yay, Pepto Bismol! So something I didn't notice, There's actually a pie piece. I'm not sure if you guys can kind of see it, but I I wish that it was a little bit more thicker and actually just more of the pie crust pieces. That would have just been enough of a balance of the salt that's carried through those pie crust pieces and another layer of texture that it would have made this a much more balanced bite because as I had the little pie crust that was in this, it did kind of give me just enough salt to balance out the rest of that sweet. Last bite. We finished her up. For me, all of these flavors, there wasn't a bad cheesecake in the bunch. I mean, I gave you guys a little bit of the critiques on them, but that was really me being nitpicky. All of these cheesecakes, are gonna be a good call if you're at Cheesecake Factory, right? They're fall flavor inspired. You know, you got caramel, you have apple, you have nuts, you have pumpkin, you have pecans. Anybody who's a fall fan is gonna feel and vibe on any of these cheesecakes, which is the reason why it's it was hard for me because those are definitely my kind of flavors. If I had to pick at least two standouts from the four, I'm gonna go with the caramel apple, just because I'm a big apple fan, and I'm gonna go with the traditional OG kind of pumpkin cheesecake. I do think that most people would be able to, to like those cheesecakes for 
for what they are. And the other ones, the other ones were a little rich, maybe a bit too decadent, even for me. But I think that the average person going to Cheesecake Factory, you're going to like the pumpkin cheesecake and then the caramel apple cheesecake. Those are definitely my two favorites. And if I had both of them in front of me and I had to choose one, I think I'd readily go more to the just plain pumpkin cheesecake. It's hard to nail down how velvety, rich, and airy, and smooth that that center of that cheesecake was. It, it's it's almost luxurious. You almost feel like it's it's a indulgent, decadent treat while you're eating it. It's uh, it's almost naughty. You know, it's it's real good. Uh, I think that if you guys were to go there and order it, I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed with that choice. So as always, we're going to have the calories posted up somewhere over here. The cost is negligible. They were all about $8.50. I think the only one that was a little more is like $8.95 was the pumpkin pecan, um, just probably because there's a little bit more to it than the other cheesecakes. And then calorie wise, these weren't so far off. I think they range somewhere from about 1,050 to about 1,300. So maybe about a 250 calorie difference or less depending, which when you're eating Cheesecake Factory cheesecake, I mean, come on, that's it's pretty negligible. But yeah, it's something to factor into it, right? Um, I think the calories count here a little bit more than, than the price. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. We always appreciate it. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Also, head on over to our Instagram so you can stay up to date with the more exclusive fast food content that we have for you. Make sure to comment down below and let us know what's your favorite fall dessert. And from us here at Fast Food Face Off, if you are what you eat, always eat amazing.